having just done the mango video and 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 drinking and, this and, and, and this is not as sweet and delicious since i just had alfonso in my mouth when Alfonso fa- <laughs> when alfonso juices in your mouth nothing, nothing else matters <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags. It's of Corbin. I'm Alfonso. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Oh. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. It's as juicy as an Alfonso mango. That's how juicy it is. Squirts in your eye. Gets sticky and you like it. Oh, my word. Today we're doing a movie review. <sighs> and we are reviewing a new film called Alfonso the Squirt. Uh, uh, from the new... Brand 1995 new film. <laughs> brand, brand new film from Amir Khan. Force Gump 2. Yes. <laughs> um, directed by Ram Gopal Varma. Yeah. Uh, composed by R. Nanbar. A.R. I gotta say right off the bat, I loved the little shout out musically when they put his names in the credit at the very, very front. Did you notice that? Oh, uh, it said his name in the credits and it went... And then cut out. <laughs> uh, starring Umila Matonkar, which my wife made fun of me. Called me, called me a white boy the way I pronounce her name. Uh, and Amir Khan, obviously. Like and looking at her name. I... Tiger Shroff's dad. <laughs> also known as Zaddy Shroff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Zaddy Stroff, baby. I'm sorry, sorry to tell you this there, uh, Nasir, but we got another contender for the Speedo King. That's Zaddy Stroff you're talking about. Uh, like, her name, I don't even know actually how, like, Urmila. Ur- Urmila. <laughs> Compu- right? In my brain, Urmila. it doesn't even compute. It's the last name that I don't pronounce well, oh, because I don't it's even. got the placements and stuff that only Alfonso can do with his mouth. <laughs> and obviously a whole bunch of other people. Yeah. Um, and I think we'd seen... Maybe all but one song. Yeah, uh, I th- yeah. In in our reaction, if, th- if it wasn't one or two tops, tops, I recognize the majority. Yeah, of yeah. Uh, we had seen most of the songs from this uh, reacting over the past three years, um, and it's a middle class woman, uh, middle class young woman who dreams of Bollywood fame mm-hmm. is caught in a love triangle between mm-hmm. her childhood friend and a famous actor. That's a that's a great great way to describe it because you don't give anything away. And, and that's exactly what this movie's about. Uh, once again, came out in 1995. I th- we I'm assume everyone sure in India has seen it. it. It's like, it's one of those iconic films. And so it's like, I'm pretty sure you've all seen it. So uh, if you haven't, I think we <clears> saw it on Amazon. It was Amazon. Was it Amazon? Amazon Prime. So you can go watch it with come Eros back. combination. It's yeah, actually yeah. Eros, which has a relationship with Amazon Prime. But, uh, 100% spoiler <laughs> review, so... Go away if you haven't seen it, I guess. Yeah. Rick, go, your initial thoughts, please. Go, go watch it and come back. I thought it was really colorful. <laughs> Get it? Because that's the yeah. meaning of the yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've talked about the guilty pleasures, right? Uh, I have some guilty pleasures from the past that I don't need to explain to anybody because I know they're great. Like, I watched stuff with my kids growing up that, for me, was just wonderful, and I love it, like Hannah Montana and... Camp Rock and High School Musical, <laughs> and I don't care what you think; those are great. They're never going to win any awards, and they don't need to because they're actually better than the awards. <laughs> Artistically, you don't even look at those films that way. I feel the same way. This, this is, and I'll I'll talk about some of the things that impressed me that I wasn't expecting because mm-hmm. it gave me the cheese, it gave me the cringe, yeah, it gave me the music numbers. But there were some other things to it that added some groundedness that I, I really didn't expect. I thought we were going to stay in cheese land, mm-hmm. and I ultimately loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this film as well. It actually got better as it went on. because I Totally think, agree. I think they dropped some of the cheese yeah. that you had in the beginning. Yeah. And so it got more of like on the story and kinda, on, on the, 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 per, the more grounded performances of all three of them. Kind of when he shows up, when, when mm-hmm. Jackie shows up. You mean Zaddy. Yeah. When Zaddy, Zaddy Shroff. When Zaddy Shroff shows up. <laughs> That's that's where, you, well, it's not just because of his presence, because he's pretty dang grounded in this thing, um, but it it's because we really get to the, we're not in the silliness, mm-hmm. we're in the story, yeah, and the plot lines continuing. Because in the beginning, it's almost at times sometimes like, 
DDLJ yep. or, or, or Coach Coach Hota High in exactly. terms of like, ah, who is a cheetah yeah. style at times, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not all of it. It's not like it didn't go full fledged like the beginning of Coach Coach Hota High. No, exactly. In high school. But it got in some of that range. And I was like, okay, so yeah, you had, what are we trying to be? Because exactly. it, it didn't have that. SRK charm that makes those films work. That I was I was worried because yeah. that was exactly I was like okay, the reason those films work is because SRK has the charm yeah, and to 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 carry as the film. does Kajol, as does Ronnie McCurgy. So those those exactly. And I was thinking early on, I'm like, okay, Amir, Amir Khan's character is kind of a dick, <laughs> and and what is she going to be doing? And I'm okay, so where it's the stereotypical. Silly, but I'm not finding the charm in this just yet. Yeah. But thankfully, it got there. quickly got there. It yeah, got it there, got. and so that was nice. Uh, and Johnny, did you grow up with this film? Yeah, I know about this film. I've, I've only watched him in videos and dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which obviously is one of the biggest, best parts of this entire film. We knew that going Obvi- in. Yeah, it, that's it's, what I was most excited we for. We were. We obviously had reacted to most of these songs. Uh, and, and they our, have some sexy songs our, in there, kids. Our non-bar... This is one of his best, I think, overall score, even though he has probably a hundred best overall of course, scores. <laughs> of course he does. But the songs are fantastic. But it's, it's like, it's such a treat. And it's, my wife, it, towards the beginning, she was watching with me when um, uh, she wasn't, you know, taking care of twins <laughs> when we weren't trading off yeah. uh, taking care of the twins. But uh, she was like, so it's like, the acting is like, weird and this was towards the beginning and she's like but then when the musical numbers come on it's like this gorgeous beautiful and she hadn't heard any of the numbers yeah before and she's like the the musical numbers are gorgeous did she get to see any of the umela and and mm-hmm. ja- okay yeah she she watched the entire thing with me Great. it was just on and off uh in between uh feedings yeah, yeah, yeah. um but yeah so the we'll just talk about the score right now because obviously we had seen most of them but like it's so good and it was such a even in the beginning when it was like a little too cheesy mm-hmm. it was such a, a treat to when the songs would come on yeah visually dance wise performance wise obviously song wise this is one of his strongest albums i think i agree yeah and it is the my favorite part as well as some other things in the story that we'll get into as well as some of the groundedness i didn't expect but yeah yeah my the least favorite thing but it comes with the territory it's this weird love hate relationship is that you cringe at some of the over the top but at the same time that's the era that's kind of yeah, like what makes it it's a very 90s film very 90s like it, not just in terms of acting no costuming everything <laughs> like you can tell the 80s had just gone by <laughs> also is this the earliest amir khan film that we've seen i believe it is yeah this i think is- this is the youngest amir khan film we've seen Interesting. I would be shocked if there was something that was pre. I thought he looked really 95. good as well. I, did I, thought, too. I liked his. I liked his look a lot. Yeah. Uh, let's just let's talk about him. Um, yeah. He he had the same kind of thing. Even though like this is, you could tell his growth as an actor. Yeah. But also, I, I don't know because the director, I'm sure, was telling him to act in a certain way. Of course. In certain moments. Yep. But then also, you saw the Amir Khan we know and love. Yep. Many times. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout this film. Especially when we got into the second half. Yeah. Um, and he, thankfully, he doesn't, because the character could be terrible, especially the first part where he's stealing things and fighting with guys because he stole it and put it in his feet up on the chair because mm-hmm. he wants to be comfortable and he's trying to justify it. And she's trying to point out, and he gets mad at her for trying to point it out. It could have been a character that you really don't like, but because he has a particular likability Mm -hmm. and you can see like hindsight looking back on it you see the 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 heart of the characters that he portrays Mm -hmm. uh in the same way i think we've always made the comparison you look back at old tom hanks stuff the essence of the guy's there so i i i really enjoyed what he did um and i i think he worked really well with them because he's there's a groundedness that came that he's always shown mm-hmm. of everybody that we've seen who's been around a long, long time. Yeah. He tends to have the the least silly stuff. In terms of the big stars. Yeah, yeah like when we watch, every time we watch a mu- music video of his from the 90s, cheese is never part of the equation. No. It just is never going to be. Yeah. Whereas uh, we know that Akshay's the king and we know that Govinda is right there with him and even SRK at times mm-hmm. is going to give you some cheese. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, we just don't get the cheesiness from no. from him. And even with his acting being over the top, it was never as big as some of the ones we just mentioned. Yeah, a bit ago. It's, it's just so... The night, I don't know if SRK started it or we just enforced it. Like some of the times when they like trying to make things they think are funny and then they all laugh and you're like... <laughs> Stop it! Yeah, <laughs> stop laughing like that. It wasn't funny. Yeah, I mean, nobody got to the point of the director in this. Which, no, which is the worst part for me. Yeah, that that I, was. I just... did not like his character. No, not just because his character was unlikable. It just I did not like the performance. I didn't. Could have <laughs> could have left that on the cutting room floor. <laughs> I agree, <laughs> and I get it. That's that's the nineties. There's all like uh, Anupam Kerr has as roles like that where he's that over the top guy. Or like, yep. I don't know. It was just a style, and it's obviously just something that is not my style. And me too. <laughs> don't like it. No. Nope. But uh, like Irmir Khan. Yeah. Irmir. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. What? Well, how do you say her name? Uh, Umila. Who we've seen? I know we've seen in multiple. Days. I'm not saying I don't know her. Obviously, we've seen her in. in oh yeah. In, in Kaun and um, uh, Satya, right? Those yep. Are the, those are the two other things we've seen her in. Yep. Um, she's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and gave it and and was believable the whole time. I mean, I love... The music numbers that she did on her own or she did with Amir Khan were good. But the ones she, but did, the ones she did with... Zaddy Shroff? That, those were smoking. Um, it will forever be Zaddy Shroff. Yeah, there was, there, there was a level of... Just there's no inhibition in the same way we've talked about Ronnie Mukherjee when she does her things and it's like... She has this Radhika Opte sense of, I'm just going to be dangerous and do whatever I need to do in this scene. Yeah. She has that sense of her when she's with him. Mm -hmm. um, and that's probably a lot of women felt that way around him back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I, would, uh, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I liked her performance a lot. I thought she had good chemistry with uh, uh, Amir Khan. And I did too. It, I liked their, the kind of whole relationship they built. Uh, you know, of... He frustrated me. Yeah. But it's written to frustrate you. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like, come I, on, man. like... Be oh, brave. Yeah. Be bold. You don't have to be a dick. Yeah. You know, just be there for her. Don't mm -hmm. cause tell her a scene. how you feel. Tell her how you feel. And but she was always there for Go him. Go on and kiss the girl. She was always there for him. She yeah. was. Um, I think both of them need to do a better job of communicating their feelings to each other. Yeah. Well, that's a that that's that's a pretty <laughs> stereotypical trope in a lot of the rom coms that we've like, seen. Is you clearly like him. Why don't you tell him? You clearly like her. Why yeah. don't you tell her? Well, the way you do that, you know that in all adult relationships, is you insult and slap. That's what you do. Yeah, that's what we do when we want people to know we like them. Um, but yeah, I like their relationship a lot. I, I Me thought, too. Um, I thought it was so unique how uh, Ram Gopal Varma kind of did this. Sometimes like songs would start, and you're like, "What is what is going on?" But then it was part of the movie. Yeah, and they kind of flesh the 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 film i Rangula appreciated this, that appre this ring yeah i appreciated that a lot mm -hmm. like rather it. than it just being a standalone item number which is nothing wrong with that but i did appreciate the fact that there was a, the, the the through line in the in the songs mm -hmm. to carry the story through yeah after <clears throat> after the interval it got a lot better and it might have been a little before that i don't know but like because i feel like a lot outside of the director came back every once in a while but they they got rid of like the whole Quirky, silly. the silly family stuff. Yeah, yeah. That, that where you're, you're literally, it's like fifteen to twenty minutes on. Should we go to the movie? Shouldn't we not go to the movie? Why don't you want to go to the movie? And it's just all of this topical stuff that's not projecting anything of the story forward mm -hmm. and not really getting to know them because it's just this topical silliness. So yeah, it, thankfully, I felt like it was a little before the interview. Yeah, probably. It was probably. I don't remember exactly. Uh, before, but also Zaddy Shroft here. Uh, let's talk about him. This is actually one of the first things we've actually seen him in. Correct. Which is so strange to me. We've constantly said how we know we need we, to see I, more of him. Obviously, we saw him in Devdos, right. but no one was good in Devdos, so I can't really give him that, right? We all agree. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, no, we don't all agree. <laughs> But I don't think other than that, I don't think we've seen him in anything. Out, we've seen him in a we, lot of videos. We saw and, the, and so. There was a short film we saw. Yes, there was. Yeah. Um, um, and we appreciated, though the story for us... Wasn't great. Didn't, we didn't wrap our heads around at all. Um, we, we appreciated what he did. You could tell he carries that weight of, of being a, an, an actor. I, I was... Of everybody in this, the one the that impressed me the most in this was him mm -hmm. not that the others didn't because i liked all three of them a lot 
I, I really did love the three of them. I can't imagine anyone else playing the roles. The reason this impressed me, <laughs> bless you, is because I wasn't expecting so early in the film after the campy silly, mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting him to be this rooted, mature man. Mm-hmm. Like he thought he'd just be the stereotypical the movie star. I, yeah, I'm gonna get the girl. Yeah, screw you. And maybe even be negative so that you're not rooting for him. Whereas you I were, I like. Yeah, I thought I don't, I don't know what the, you're trying to do here, but I like this guy, and I I'm kind of rooting for him. But I'm also rooting for Amir Khan. I want him to come around because he clearly loves her. I don't know who to root for in this right now. But yeah. well, the thing I loved about him was just. Not just the seriousness of the character and the weightiness of him, but Jackie's portrayal was so not the typical 90s Bollywood movie we've seen. It was very, very grounded. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I liked it a lot. And believable in every every moment. I was like, she, Andrani said that he was considered this name I'm going to mention, and I had the thought, and I think we may have even mentioned this Jackie before. Jackie was considered Yeah, this Jackie guy. was considered this comparison. He reminded me of, and she said <clears> this is who, <throat> he reminded me of Tom Selleck. Oh, yeah. Very Z- much. Another zaddy. Big, tall, facial hair. Mustache. Grounded, charming. You want to ride it all day? Yep. Kind of thing? Yep. <laughs> Just a sexy man's man. Zaddy Shroff. Mustache rides for days. <laughs> great shirt. That's a great shirt. <laughs> Gotta tell you, that is a great shirt. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I, I really... And I also like what uh, I don't know. Was it, did Ram Gopalvarma write this as well, or did he just direct it? Um, I think he was. He was part, one of the was part of the writing. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the the writing of the fact that you know we thought he was going to be this negative kind of character trying to one up Amir Khan every, every uh, at every turn. You know, she he was trying to give her the ring. He gave her this beautiful diamond necklace. Yeah. The- and uh, taking him away from him at the the restaurant when they were clearly trying to have a nice dinner, but then almost being. A good person. He's a good person. And he was like, I can see that you love him. I'm not going to get in the way of they that. They both, at their core, <clears throat> both of these guys are good guys at heart. They don't want to hurt her. Mm-hmm. They're not going to impose themselves in something and try to take something. And that's what I loved in the story. There's like, there's the antagonist in this are circumstances. Mm-hmm. There is no flesh and blood antagonist who's trying to get something. And you clearly don't want her with him. And you clearly want her with him. In this, it was like, I was really happy she was with Amir Khan, but I felt I felt kind of sorry for his tiger for tiger for for Jackie's <laughs> Jackie's character. But I also loved the choice to show him because it would have been really easy to be heartbroken for the guy. I mean, he lost the love of his life in a car wreck that he wanted to get married to. He's been alone since then. When she asked him at the beach, "Who do you have at home?" He didn't even want to answer because he's got no one Mm -hmm. and then he's clearly madly in love with this girl and he thinks she likes him but it hasn't been consummated with that way and i love the choice at the end when he's watching them do their little bickering and fighting when he just kind of laughs and shakes his head he's a grown-up recognizing i thought she was the one she's not good for them i'll move on i I loved it i really enjoyed the ending how they ended their relationship yeah it it ended like with a big like argument and then being like this is us we're yeah. so quirky. We like to argue all the time. Yeah, <laughs> it is. That's the way we express our our appreciation for each other. <laughs> they get on each other's nerves, but they love each other. Yeah, uh, all the time. And so I, I, I appreciated the ending. And overall, I really appreciated the film. Me too. Um, and and especially at for the time that it came out, being yeah. the earliest Amir Khan film. So it'll. I kind of was like, this will probably have the most in terms of like you know, cringy stuff or, or just different style of filmmaking because of the time as opposed to some of the newer stuff like even Lagan that was probably what 10 years 10 years a- after 10 that years probably after this oh. um and then obviously stuff like Dongle or, or right even Safrosh um, right it's interesting i'm glad you brought that up <clears throat> cuz that is one of the films we when we we consistently right off the top of a bat We'll talk about the films of his that we like, and we'll say we like this one, we like this one. Listen, Dongle is one of the ones that should be kept in the in the lexicon because oh, th- yeah. th- that's a great movie, and he gives a great performance, and he shapeshifts in that one. Somebody was actually uh, t- uh, sent a little poll thing on Twitter, um, and keeping the obviously Will Smith thing out of it, it's like which performance do you like better, Will Smith and King Richard, Amir Khan and Dongle, because they're very similar in terms oh, the, uh, of the style of what they did. I personally, that's tough because 
you know, pri- taking the slap out of yeah, the obviously, equation. Taking obviously what actually happened. I the was performance. I was obviously I wanted it. Yeah, tick tick boom was the was yeah, yeah, Andrew yeah, Garfield yeah, was yeah, who yeah, I yeah. wanted to have get that. But if it wasn't gonna be Andrew, I wanted it to be yeah. Will Smith. Um, so of those two, though, yeah, I like will if they tell came you, out the exact same time. And I you had Amir Khan. And I had, would vote for because of those two films, I love that movie. I love Dungle. No, no, no. The, the King the, Richard. King Richard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love King Richard. I'll go back and watch King Richard, but if someone said to me for the rest of your life, pick one, you can't watch the other one, I I would pick Dongle. I would want to be able to watch Dongle again yeah. more than, even though I loved King Richard, yeah. it would be like that for both Amir Khan's performance, but just overall the, the film. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm glad we finally got to it, and I'm sure all of you are finally are glad we finally got yeah, to it. Yeah, really. <laughs> this is the one Three years in the making. And there's only 10,000 more yeah. of Amir Khan but films. But this one, I think, like, right after Three Idiots, everybody was like, okay, watch Rangela. Yeah, and there's still a bunch, a bunch more like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, and then obviously he has, um, uh, what is it called? His Forrest name? Gump. Forrest Gump film. <laughs> He's got the Forrest Gump film yeah. coming out. <laughs> it's Sing. Uh, um, La Chata Sing or something like that? Yeah. La, what's the, what's the, the Forrest Amir Gump. Khan? How do you, uh, Lal. Lal Singh Ah, uh, dyslexic. What she said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, let us know what the next Amir Khan is. What should be the next Amir Khan film there, Indrani? <laughs> She's laughing at She's something. She's just laughing. Probably the way I pronounce something. It is, white boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to see that. Oh, yeah, we're definitely oh, yeah. seeing that. But what should be the next What should be Amir the next, Khan? like, classic? Guzarish. Gersnatch? That's not even Amir Khan. The mo- Memento. Oh yeah, the Memento thing. Yeah, We've yeah, seen yeah. this. I want to. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's seen the, high up on one the of the list fight scenes. For a lot of people as well. No, no we just a fight yet. scene. Just a fight scene from it. We, we, <laughs> we got we got other things. We've been trying. <laughs> wow. Now <laughs> you're you're <laughs> jumping on the bandwagon, telling us to watch the stuff. <laughs> Johnny's gonna get the top upvoted comment. Uh, let us know what the next Amir Khan film <laughs> and Zaddy Shaw. Yo, oh, yeah, we want to see us that more Zaddy. Want to ride his mustache into the sunset, baby? <laughs>